All right, this next little lesson, this is really cool stuff. Let's look at frequency and the period of a wave. Let's kind of analyze these for just a minute. The frequency of a wave is the rate at which a wave repeats itself. So if you're standing next to the water and a wave crest passes you, and then a second later, another wave crest passes you, and then a second later, another wave crest passes you, then the rate at which the waves are passing you would be one hertz or one wave per second. So the rate at which a wave repeats, which is the frequency, is measured in hertz. And a hertz really, if you stop and think about it, would be measured in waves per second. Now let's go down and look at the period of a wave. The period of the wave is how long it takes a single wave to repeat itself. So if you're standing on the, on the beach and a wave lands on the beach at your feet and then one second later another wave lands and then one second later another wave lands, the time between wave crests, the time it takes for the wave to repeat itself would be one second. So the period of the wave is how long it takes a single wave to repeat itself from one wave crest to the next. And that would be measured in seconds per wave. Now if you look at this, you can very quickly see that waves per second and seconds per wave mathematically are inverses of each other. Inverse. It means opposite. They're inverses of each other, waves per second and seconds per wave. So if you really think about this, the frequency of any wave is the inverse of the period. The frequency of a wave, mathematically, is the inverse of the period of a wave. And the period of a wave is the inverse of the frequency. The period of a wave is equal to the inverse of the frequency. So let's just look at a problem here. If What if we have a wave that has a period of 0 0.40 seconds? So the period of a wave is equal to 0 0.40 seconds. If the period of the wave is equal to 0 0.40 seconds, and we want to know what the frequency is, what does the frequency equal? Well, the frequency is the inverse of the, of the period. So if I find the inverse of 0 0.40, in other words, if I do this, I get right here 2.5. And that's going to be hertz. So I get 2.5 hertz. The inverse of the period is the frequency. Now you might ask, where does this unit hertz come from? Well, think about it like this. Remember, hertz is really 1 over s. Well, this is 1 over 0 0.40 seconds. So that's 1 over s. That's hertz. So that's how we can figure out the frequency if we know the period of the wave. And we can work another problem down here. Let's suppose we have a wave that uh, has a frequency of 300 hertz. So we have a wave that has a frequency of 300 hertz. Frequency equals 300 hertz. If we want to know what the period of that wave is, we find the inverse of the frequency. So the period equals the inverse of the frequency, or 300 hertz, and that is 300. The inverse is 0 0.003, and of course the inverse of the frequency is going to be seconds. 1 over s, find the inverse of that, it's simply seconds. So that's using this relationship 
the relationship between the frequency and the period of the wave. The frequency is the inverse of the period of the wave, and the period is the inverse of the frequency.